Well, today, several employees of the Tampa Tribune left the building for the last time with their personal belongings in their hands. At least 100 people are expected to lose their jobs from the sudden closing of that newspaper. ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner is live at the Tribune with the far-reaching impact the sudden closing means for employees and for Tampa as well, Adam. Yeah, that's right. In fact, uh, one former employee is calling yesterday Bloody Tuesday for the number of jobs that were lost. And it's been pretty somber watching some of these employees walk out with all their belongings here in the rain. Now, the Tribune closing was not a surprise to a lot of people, but the way that these people lost their jobs, some are calling disrespectful. Lightning beat writer Eric Erlinson just flew back to Tampa. He was in New York covering the playoff hockey game when suddenly bad news. It hurts. You know, it hurts. Um, you know, it, so many good people, so many good friends, you know, an institution in this town. I mean, 123 years the Tribune's been around, and, and it's sad to see it go. Lightning coach John Cooper even gave the beat writer a shout out on Twitter. Someone hire this guy, says Cooper. Erlinson's own social media bio reads in part, Anybody hiring? It's sad that I'm no longer going to be a part of it. And, you know, it's, it's sad for this community that we lose that voice. That voice began in the 1890s with a small facility downtown. And it soon grew to become the paper of record in Tampa, even expanding to a bigger building on Parker Street years later. I had wished that the uh, end for the Tribune would have been uh, different and more dignified. That's where we met former editor Gil Thielen today. It is an honorable newspaper that has always tried to do the best by, uh, uh, by Tampa. Thielen left the paper in 2006 to become a USF media professor. He says the Tribune never recovered from the recession, but he wishes it would have been allowed to publish its own obituary. This uh, dignified old fellow should uh, have been uh, uh, given uh, a, um, a better end. Specifically, he wishes employees like Erlinson have been given more notice. As of now, just uh, go home, give my wife a kiss, tell my kids hello, and uh, we'll see what goes from there. Now, the uh, CEO of the time says that the employees who they're going to offer jobs to here at the Tribune have already been made those offers. So all the other employees, upwards of 100, now know that they are without a job today. The ones who won't be getting that offer are going to be paid for about a couple months in the meantime. For now, live here in Tampa, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.